If you're like me and you are on the neurodivergent spectrum, be that ADHD, be that autism, be that dyslexia, dyspraxia, whatever. If you're on the uh, neurodivergent, um, the neurodivergent spectrum, chances are you have a lot of self-doubt about your abilities, uh, about being, about belonging in your space. I have found that my biggest weakness is also my biggest strength. Uh, when I was uh, writing the ADHD Advocacy Magic Show, which is now a sensory-friendly magic show, I had a lot of doubt and in, uh, not necessarily an inferiority complex, but it was more of an imposter syndrome. Uh, I had the feeling that I did not have the authority or the credentials to talk about this because I am not a licensed therapist. Uh, I only took undergrad psychology, and I kind of felt like no, this show is going to be get, is going to get rejected because I'm not a therapist. I don't have the credentials to talk about this. Well, I swallowed that up and I wrote the show. I did the show. The show debuted uh, with a great success at the uh, 2022 Indie Fringe, and. He wasn't there to watch the show, but he saw a video recording that I made of the show. He was a friend of mine, Taylor Martin, uh, and he uh, phoned me up after watching the recording of the show that I sent him. And he said, Jordan, your, uh, your biggest strength is also your weakness. Uh, he didn't really say it that way, but that's the way I interpret it. He said, Jordan, there are a lot of people that do advocacy shows. There's a lot of people that do say no to drug shows. There's a lot of people that say no to bullying shows. But you have something that they don't have, and that is the lived experience. You have the authority because you live it. Your greatest weakness can be your greatest strength.